Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and today we're going to go over macOS Big Sur Beta 10. This is going to be a really quick look of all the new features that come in this release. I'm going to do a part two that's going to do a deep dive into some of the more advanced things and more of the detailed information about Big Sur Beta 10. Let's get started. The, the update was released today at 12 noon Central St Standard Time, two weeks after Beta 9. Some of the new features in this release that are really exciting are that you can actually lock your screen with the power button. Boom, hit the, hit the power button, the machine's locked. Before, you had to go up to the Apple menu and go here or do Shift command Q to lock your screen. So this is really great to, ready to just hit the button and, and then go do what you need to do and keep your machine secure. The next one is new menu bar item now playing. This was actually hidden away and I'll show you real quick where that is. You go here and you go into the dock and menu bar and you scroll down here and now playing. This was here but it was not enabled in the previous beta so that's why you can actually see it up here now. That's why I got this YouTube video up here and you can actually click this and you can actually see um, the whatever's playing either in apple music or youtube or spotify or anything like that it's really cool and then while you're doing things you can just click this and hit play or hit pause to be able to play the music really cool option that they added here the next new feature is a redesigned dynamic wallpaper selection menu so let's take a look at what that actually used to look like here i've got a screenshot of what this looks like in beta um beta 9 and under and then i'll open up system preferences so you can see the difference here we'll go into screen saver here and uh, desktop and we'll take a look as it loads here and you can see how it's all redesigned here where they show the different uh, dynamic views of this big sur wallpaper the next thing that's new is actual new wallpapers here if you click on oops that's my Let's click on this, and I think it is, oh, here, here it is. We've got a new uh, Big Sur Ariel. So this is a brand new uh, background that they've added, and I'm not sure which one's gonna be default. Usually they, they'll do a thing like this, like a picture like this, but they always go back to something like the Catalina or the Mojave background where it's like this, or or the, I'm not sure which one they're gonna pick, but um, it could, be, I'm guessing it might be this Ariel. Um, or or the um, the Big Sur daytime. So next, um, we we've got some more updates here. There is no full installer for for beta 10, and that's a bummer because uh, Macintosh administrators and 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 school uh, administrators who who need to test this release and developers who need to test certain workflows need that full installer. There's no full installer available for beta 10. We're hoping that we're going to get one for for Gold Master so we can do one last test before the operating system is released to the public. Um, the next good news is that Active Directory login is fixed in beta 10. This is great news because this was actually broken in first release, then fixed in beta 6, and then broken again in beta 7. So it's fixed in beta 10. This is great news. We were hoping that was going to get fixed before. Before launch let's go over some of the other features here um, the the let's talk about the in, the install size and the install process of beta 10 so the beta 10 for the uh, combo or the the Delta update is 3.82 uh, gigabytes and you'll you'll see that right in software update and should show up today if that doesn't work I've got an article I'll put in the link um, there are some other users that were complaining that they were not seeing the the update in software update you sometimes have to reinstall the beta profile and you'll see it if you're part of the um, the public beta sometimes you won't see that for another day or two so that's that now the next thing I wanted to show you was the install process here um, the install process again was long this is the downloading one we'll go to the next one here and this is the installing one um, where it's setting and preparing and this actually took another hour and that happened with beta 9 too so I'm curious did you guys install this let, let leave me a note in the comments to tell me how long it took you for the preparing part of, of beta 10 did it go really fast or did it take a long time maybe a half hour to 45 minutes let me know um, but eventually it did go and then the actual install while I was outside of the operating system was only about mm, 15 minutes or so so that didn't go too bad um, the other thing was is that there was a, oh one 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 new thing too is that uh, users were also saying that the uh, uh, AirPod automatic device switching is still buggy in this release. Did you try it and does it work for you? Um, let me know in the comments. The next thing is is that AirPods have a new cool icon that when they're connected will go up in the dock when you instead of the speaker. So instead of the speaker here, you'll actually see the AirPods icon. How cool is that? 
And there's also one more quick thing here. Um, some users are, are saying that they're having problems with YouTube um, and Netflix errors on beta 10. If this is happening to you, some of the reports are that ad, some ad blockers are blocking and causing errors. So if you can try to uh, disable those ad blockers to see if that works for you. Um, and let me know in the comments if you guys are having this issue. As you can see here, I am working okay in, in, in YouTube. I didn't check Netflix, but as long as my YouTube's working, the Netflix should work fine. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, a, a card in the in the video that I'll link you right to uh, part two when it comes out. And if you guys like this content, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you updated with all the latest Mac OS and Macintosh news. Have a good day.